This is Josh the Terrible with the Borough Lifestyle Magazine. I'm hanging out with Sonia of Urchin Redesign. Hi. What Urchin Redesign is, is it's couture, high-end couture done with reconstructed materials. I use vintage materials, old dresses, mix it with new materials or a girls' heirloom dresses and make new dresses that speak to the past but don't reference any particular time period. When I first started out in fashion design, I really wasn't planning on being a fashion designer at all. I wanted to be a fine artist, but I thought, oh God, I think fine artists make no money. And I really like eating, and I, like, I want to travel, and I want to do all these fun things. I didn't think that there was an avenue to be an artist and actually be successful. Um, so I thought, well, what can I do to make money and be creative in the meantime, do it for like 10 years, make a pile of money, and then be an artist on my own terms? And so I thought, well, fashion design, how hard can that be, right? I mean, really. My school had no coaching whatsoever on how to go to college or where to go. So basically they brought the, the book out and they said, okay, you either go to USC or UCLA, or if you can't make that, you go to a city college. And so I was like, okay, well, Parsons. Parsons. I'm going to go to Parsons. <laughs> that's how you made a life decision. <laughs> that's it. That's how, that's how I do it. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. And I didn't apply to any other school. I'm like, if my finger found it, then fate brought me here. And then that's it. And so... Oh I went to Parsons and your first year you can decide your major and I didn't know what I was going to go into because there was still the art option and then I was like no, I'll go into fashion and I went into fashion and loved it. I thought it was really fun and um, I thought I would do it for 10 years and I ended up doing it for 25 or something like that, yeah, and just worked for the big companies and did all that and then finally I was like okay. It's time. It's time for me to do my own thing. And I thought I was going to go into fine art. And then Urchin started up and I was back in fashion, but doing it as fine art. So it was perfect. Um, had no idea whatsoever I was going to be a bridal designer. Um, I just had been making product and putting it in a store on Mississippi called Flutter. And Flutter is awesome, by the way. Um, and it was started by the lady who owns Eden over on the west side of town now. My Burning Man clothes were up on the wall, and she was like, oh, you make clothing. I didn't know you made clothing. And I said, well, I'm a fashion designer. And so she was like, do you want to put some in the store? So I put some clothing in the store, started the wow. name Urchin, and um, girls started buying my dresses to get married in. <laughs> you didn't plan on that? No. <laughs> I had no. That was not part of my plan. And I just and thought that I want to get married in that dress. They were getting married in my dresses, and I was like, oh, my goodness, that's awesome. You know, I'm honored. But... Um, and then I actually had a girl approach me and say, can you make a dress for me? And I thought, oh gosh, I'm not working about a, on a bride, I don't know. And she was delightful, she was awesome. And it went so well and I thought, you know, I could do this. Yeah, I'll offer that. If people want me to make a dress, I can design a dress for them. I love working with high-end, beautiful old materials. I mean, they're gorgeous. They have a resonance, they've got a patina you don't get with new materials. And so for me, yeah, it's, it's green, it honors the past and all that, but honestly, it's because they're so beautiful and there's just nothing like them. I mean, I mix them with new materials that are really nice and you, it's pretty seamless. You can't tell the difference once it's said and done. When I'm working with a girl, I'll work on the dress first so that we can see everything that we're, we're producing and then the headpiece will come last and then the jewelry will come after that. Most of my work right now is over at a store called Eden over in the Pearl and they just opened a bridal store, so a bunch of my product went over there, so this place is kind of sparse right now. I know it doesn't seem like it, but... Um, so there's a dress in there that's the mermaid dress, and I made that for a girl, and um, I ended up, in the end, renting it to her. I made a proposal, I'm like, look, I just really want to build this thing for you the way I want to build it, and I know it goes beyond your budget. Just let me make it, and I'll rent it to you. And so that, I have that, and I love that dress, and it's not for sale. Well, if I'm making it for one of my clients, I think one of the highest compliments they can give me is to say, oh my God, you made the dress I totally always wanted my whole life. I think there's just nothing better. And then I think another thing is when they come in with their mom and I'm remaking their mom's dress and their grandmother's dress. And you just see the mom in there and she's crying and you know, the daughter's crying and everybody, and that's like, that's the best. Yeah, in a crazy way it really is. It like completely embodies every single thing I wanted to do because I wanted to do couture. I wanted to be an artist. I wanted to work for myself. I never would have thought that this was the way that I would end up there.
I'm going to be going to uh, WTF and Burning Man this year, and um, I have a proposal um, for WTF, which is an amazing music festival. It's going to be its second year this year, awesome. and some friends of mine are putting that on um, to do an installation there, so we'll cool. see. Okay. UrchinRedesign.com, which I'm sorry I don't update very often, but I'm going to work on it. Manifestation. Um, and then I have a Facebook site, which I actually do update more often, which is Urchin Redesign at Facebook. Okay, Sassy. <laughs> How do I look? Fabulous. <laughs> you look great. Oh, would you like a shawl to go with that? Oh, do you have a shawl? Of course I do. Of course I do.